Hello everyone, my name is Tia and I'm a student at Wright State University. I'll be taking a manufacturing facility tour with you. I'm excited to learn about the different types of careers available in the manufacturing industry. There are tons of great career options right here in the Dayton region. Today we're touring Detailed Machining, located in Sydney, Ohio. Let's meet John Birch, the owner and founder of Detailed Machining in Sydney, Ohio. I founded the company in 1997 uh, under the whim of basically wanting to build things, make things, and see the end product. I'm a high school graduate. I never went to college. I uh, like to build things, and uh, that's where it all, tear things apart and build it. Uh, so that's where it all started. Can you tell us what detailed machining does? Detailed machining is a job shop. Uh, because of my background, you know, in, in the welding, fabricating, so on, we make almost anything and everything from wedding rings to trophies to parts to carry cars down the assembly line, um, uh, parts on the Airstream trailers. Uh, if you, every Airstream trailer for the last 20 years has our parts on them. And, and, and it's kind of cool to say the same way. If you go to a campground or you see it going down the road, a lot of people get annoyed, but uh, I still point and say, we made that, so. How did you end up in manufacturing? Prior to this, I started out as a, a lawnmower mechanic and then I worked my way into the factory, got into running production, said I wanted into maintenance, got into the maintenance field where it really opened up my eyes. I learned about electrical, I learned about plumbing, learned about contracting, how to build buildings. Um, I left there, rebuilt engines for a while, um, and then finally went into the construction field. Uh, I did HVAC work for, for a place here in town, and uh, from there I said it's time for me to venture off on my own. What's your favorite part about working in manufacturing? Favorite part is seeing the parts go out and knowing that, that, that we're making somebody happy. The satisfaction of saying we did that, uh, seeing the product, whatever it may be, the machine, the, the product that you produce and so on. I mean, the, the self-satisfaction is, is really rewarding. It sounds like manufacturing is very important to you. Manufacturing is very important. If you, if you really step back and say everything is touched and seen by a machinist or, or made by a machinist or their ideas, um, it, it's everywhere. It's everywhere around you. Whether it's every little piece and part in a car, somebody had to design it, somebody had to engineer it, somebody had to manufacture it. What advice would you give someone considering a career in manufacturing? Don't be afraid to do the ask. I know a lot of people are, you know, they're, they're, the kids nowadays tend to hibernate and they're more playing the games and so on. That hand-eye coordination, that skill level can be applic applicable in our business, okay? So uh, there is talents and stuff that you know already, you don't even know exist. Um, so do the ask. Go out and ask, talk to people, volunteer. You'd be surprised how many times have you volunteer for a community thing, event, whatever it may be. And, and, and never think that you're better than everybody else. Um, you know, um, it doesn't matter what the job is. Uh, it doesn't matter in this shop. I sweep the floors just like everybody else. I don't take it as I'm a different level, I'm higher, I'm, it's too good for me. Always think and be humble at what you do. And if you are, uh, good things will come, okay? Be patient, good things will come. Thanks, John. It sounds like there are a lot of exciting opportunities in manufacturing. Let's move on and talk with a few of John's employees at Detailed Machining. Up first is Tyler. Tyler, what do you do here? Uh, my name's Tyler Robinson and I'm a machinist. How long have you worked here? Uh, I've been with Detailed Machining for about four years. What do you do here? Anything from running a lathe to a water jet to a mill or doing any other type of miscellaneous work around the shop. Detailed Machining does a lot of uh, job shop work, so like one or two pieces, uh, custom parts, and a lot of fabricating. Can you explain fabricating? I'm not sure I know what that is. Fabricating is uh, you take a bunch of different parts and build it into a project or a new design for a company. Cool. Next, I'm talking to Matt, who's going to show us a bit of machinery. Matt, what do you do here? My name is Matt Birch and I am a CNC machinist, laser programmer machinist, and water jet programmer and operator. What kind of machine is behind you? Yes, this is our 4,000 watt laser. Uh, I can cut up to one inch thick steel, aluminum, copper, um, basically in a 2D fashion. What kinds of things would you make with this machine? Uh, multiple different products. Uh, lately, I'm cutting steel. Right now, we 
are in with Mac Tools socket trays. Right now I'm currently running Mac Tools. What does a typical day of work look like for you? When I first walk in, I usually go over to the water jets. I look through my paperwork and find out what my jobs are on the list for the day. I usually get a hold of my supervisor and see if there's anything that has come in that is hot to our customers and that needs to be done as a priority upon everything else. What's your favorite part of your job? The rewarding part of my position is being part of something so much greater. For instance, I made a lot of parts for uh, Tesla. Everybody knows the Tesla car manufacturer out in California. We made the car carriers that actually move the cars down the assembly line as they're being assembled. So it's really cool to know that when I see a Tesla car going down the road, I actually made the car carrier that took that car down the assembly line. Thanks, Matt. Next, I'm chatting with Allison. Allison, I understand you're pretty new here. Uh, I've been here for like four months. And why did he decide to go into manufacturing? I got into manufacturing by doing tractor pulls and stuff like that. Uh, just the idea of making something from scratch kind of was interesting to me. Do you like working here so far? Yeah, I like my job here. What do you like best about it? <laughs> what I like most about my job here would probably be doing something different almost every day because then you're constantly learning something. It's not constantly doing the same thing. That sounds like fun. Thank you, Allison. Finally, we're talking to Jared. Jared, I understand you have a job different than some of the others we've talked to before. What do you do here? My name is Jared Inger and I work at the engineering department here in Detailed Machining. Why did you decide to go into engineering? I decided to go into engineering just for the fact of I like to tanker. When you're thinking of the engineering aspect, what no one really thinks about is after you engineer something, the changes that can make be made to it after the fact. Uh, working on stuff, I guess my mindset is always what can be changed to make it better. And if you're not trying to always improve, what are you trying to extend on? What does a normal day at work look like for you? Going throughout the day, it's typically I come in my office, run through my emails, check for quotes, uh, see if Bob or Todd have anything that they would like me to touch up on, and then it's really a one-on-one -on -one time with the guys out on the floor. Uh, we're in a lot of contact with them, making sure they have the prints that they need, they have the equipment that they need, and that I'm able to provide them with basically all their needs. Do you work with computers a lot? I'd say almost 75% of my day is spent on the computer. What kind of programs or software do you use? SolidWorks is a 3D rendering software where you take a 2D sketch and then you extrude it into a 3D model. Uh, typically that starts from just using very minor and minute sh shapes and then you're extruding them using contours and things of the sort to actually meet the part that we're trying to make. And then from that point on, typically what we'll do is we'll put it into assemblies to see if we can test fit it and make sure it is what the customer needs. And then from that point, we will put it into a title block, also using SolidWorks. That way we can put it into a print that the guys can read. Kind of like a blueprint for a house. It's actually very, very similar to a blueprint of a house, uh, but we're dealing with more mechanical parts. Uh, instead of showing edges and walls, we're meeting holes and we're trying to show contours and fitment. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career for someone? I would absolutely recommend engineering and manufacturing. It's a non-stop growing field. I mean, there's always things to be changed. There's always things to invent. I mean, our, our country is built on improving and that's what I'm here to do. Thank you, Jarrett. There certainly are some exciting careers available in manufacturing from machining to engineering. Thank you so much to Detailed Machining for letting us visit. Many thanks also to the Dayton Region Manufacturers Association for coordinating this tour and to Nordstrom Films for putting this video together. This video was made possible in part by Fastlane and Ohio MEP. If you'd like to learn more about manufacturing careers, visit www.yourfuturecareer.org or www.makingohio.com.